Floyd DeGrange snapped a few final pictures of what's left of the historic Perseverance Hall on North Villery in the 7th Ward. He called the loss of this New Orleans jazz landmark a tragedy. I wish I had the money to refurbish it and, and have it for historical significance because uh, this is a big part of what New Orleans is all about. And uh, I hate to see it go down for the count like this. This is one of the venues where jazz was born. It's an honor for me to stand here and sit here and talk about it. I'm 70 years old now, and I grew up throughout this neighborhood and we used to cover this place when I was a kid. The hall was built in the 1880s for the perseverance of benevolent and mutual aid society. Jazz pioneers such as Buddy Bolden, Sidney Bichette, and King Oliver used to play here. Last year, the rear portion of the building collapsed during Hurricane Ida. This week's heavy rainstorms finished the job. They bring tremendous wealth to our community in terms of our collective shared history. And, um, and every time we lose one, we lose a little bit of that memory, that collective memory, that point of pride. The building has been a church since 1949. In May, Pastor Harold Lewis said in a video produced for WWOZ that he was hoping to restore the building as a neighborhood facility. I believe that if, if as a neighborhood that we need places like this to survive. Preservation Resource Center Executive Director Danielle Del Sol says the PRC was helping the pastor raise money to stabilize the building. Yesterday we were working with the owner um, on a grant application um, that was uh, aimed towards saving um, African historic African-American sites of significance. DeGrange says like the jazz era it nurtured, unfortunately, Perseverance Hall is now gone. It's, it's sad, but you know. Gone, but certainly not forgotten. In the 7th Ward, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.